it's it's really tough. Um, I don't know how to answer that question. It's just it's an everyday struggle to try to find something new or to try to be incentivized. I mean, if you think about it, you're like, you know, as a human being, right? Like, you know, your biggest sort of fears are sort of impending doom slash death, which has been sort of dangled in front of us so many times now that it's a little bit like, you know, we're sort of immune to that. And so you have to find your sort of things that carry great gravity, you know, that have like a gravitas, like, and so it's hard to, to, to try to define those things when you, you live in such a heightened um, reality in terms of the show that you're on. Um, so it's not like um, I can just say, you know, well, Stefan just uh, doesn't want uh, so-and-so to die. It's kind of like we've already resurrected people and we've done all these things. So it's kind of like I need to create some like other uh, motivations. Um, so it takes a little bit of creativity. I love doing flashback episodes because flashback episodes are a clean slate. And it's like you're doing a new show. And it's like you're doing a new character because, you know, the character, like, I love doing, we did a flashback this season in the 1860s again. And it was like my favorite because I was able to, I was in wardrobe and I was not a vampire and I didn't have 160 years of this. And I didn't know about these stones and this witch and this, I was just a boy in the 1860s. And it was just so nice to like play a boy in the 1860s. And we just was just like looking at things for the first time with, with a, you know, naive, fresh set of eyes. Um, it was so fun to, to act that day. I loved it, you know, and that was fresh. If they could do a flashback episode every other episode, I think I would be in heaven. It would be amazing. 